Welcome to Dr. P. C. Bagua Economist YouTube class. Today, in this class, we are taking into consideration the term the sterling area. The sterling area or a sterling block. These terms are very necessary to be acquainted with all the students who want to study 1948 industrial policy, 1956 industrial policy because that was the period of the sterling area. India was, India was one of the members of the sterling area. India was a member of the sterling area or it is also known as the sterling uh, block. We all know that in the world all countries all countries in the world most of them are under British impact under British impact and so the number one country uh, was the United Kingdom and most of the countries are under uh, the empire of United Kingdom. We all know that 1776, in 1776, USA got independence from the uh, England and uh, there was also formation of Commonwealth in which most of the countries started in Asia were the member. There was supremacy of Great Britain. There was supremacy of Great Britain throughout the uh, 1750 to 1850 and 1850 to 1900. As soon as 1900 arrived, there are many evidences that India, that the United Kingdom is losing its ground before the emerging world power, United States of America. And we all know that uh, USSR emerged from 1970 and uh, continued to 1990. United Kingdom faced First World War and in the First World War there was uh, expenditure, public expenditure too much and uh, it was found that United Kingdom felt a chosa, felt a chosa. There was the stock of pound sterling uh, decreased, decreased at the period, and uh, it was found that there is threat to United Kingdom as a number one country. Then, which is the number one country now? In 20th century, throughout, there is decline in the supremacy of United Kingdom, and there is emergence of United States of America as supreme power in the world economy, in the global economy. Global economy. In this context, we are attaching India. 19. 47 to 1957 is termed as the plenty of plenty, the problem of plenty in India under a sterling block. First, we define a sterling block or a sterling area as 
look there, the sternal area. The sternal area was a group of countries that either paid to pound a sterling or actually used the pound as their own currency. When you all were under United Kingdom as pro protectorate, colony, dominions, whatever the status, they are under United Kingdom and the rule was from Great Britain, from England, coming to different uh, colonies. So, it was impression that all colonies, protectorates, dominion under United uh, Kingdom, Great Britain, United Kingdom, was known as a Stalin block. A Stalin block. And those who are member of the Stalin block by virtue of under United Kingdom as a colony, as a protectorate, whatever your status, they become member of a Stalin block. A Stalin block is later on known as a Stalin area. What was the role of a Stalin block? That India, Pakistan was not there at that time. India and, uh, and other nations which are the member of the Stalin area, they have to keep their exchange reserves, dollar reserves, pound reserves, pound Stalin reserves, all the reserves in Bank of England. It was also a fact that in 1931 there was no Reserve Bank of India. Reserve Bank of India was established in 1935. We are talking about the period uh, from 1901 to 1931. Under this period there was simultaneous fall in the supremacy of the United Kingdom and rise of, rise of the USA superpower both are simultaneously going on and the testing ground that who will lead World War first, who will lead World War second, who, who will be the winner in two cents as the dominance over the different countries of the world and acceptance that dollar is stronger, stable than pound study. Internal rivalry between dollar and pound sterling was going on. United Kingdom thought that all countries which were under British Empire, they will follow United Kingdom, they will deposit their all foreign exchange in the account held in Bank of England. And most of the small nations uh, declared that their currency is Pound sterling. So either you uh, keep your reserves under Bank of England or you declare that the pound is their own currency. It was suggested by United Kingdom that all members of Eastern area will would peg. Peg means pegging currency with the uh, variations in the pound sterling. If pound sterling varies, they will peg their currency with pound sterling. They will not peg with the dollar. So that it become clear that the sterling area uh, currency system uh, is under the control of United Kingdom and a sterling area, uh, so many uh, small and uh, large countries, uh, they, they follow uh, the dominance in, in the sense that they will
this country will take their currency with foundation, not paying with the dollar. Dollar had not got that importance uh, during that period. Although uh, United uh, Nation, uh, United States uh, of America is growing fastly, fastly, but their test testing ground was World War First and World War Second. So India was also a member of a sterling block, a sterling area, and kept all exchange reserves in Bank of England. And in return, India received direct access, direct access to London money market, London capital market. London money market and all international uh, currency reserve were kept in Bank of England. This is the story uh, which you must know. In any interview, if they ask that uh, what is a sterling block, what is a sterling area, you will say that a sterling block or a sterling area both are the same uh, thing. Uh, some it was first of all called a uh, sterling block and later on it was known as a sterling area. A sterling area was a group of country definition. A sterling area was a group of countries that either take their currency to the pound sterling, that either they take their currency uh, to the pound sterling or actually used the pound as their own currency. Mind it, own currency. India is using uh, rupee, but most of the small nations uh, use the pound sterling, their own currency. They keep their reserve in the Bank of England. There was uh, not a development of central bank in all the small nations at that time, nor in India. In India, Central Bank, Reserve Bank of India was established 1935. Therefore, where to keep balances, where to keep exchange reserves, that was the issue before India. So India preferred to remain in the sterling block or a sterling area where uh, a, a group of countries a group of countries uh, decided either to pay their currency to pound sterling or actually use pound sterling as their own currency. India's exchange reserves kept at the Bank of England and in return India had access to London capital and money market. This is the story of a sterling area. A sterling area continued uh, when India got independence, it continued till 1973. The story runs that the supremacy, supremacy of dollar was proved after World War First, England felt exhausted and therefore England was worried that what will happen to their uh, sovereign area concept. But uh, at that time there were some evidences that uh, in, in September 1931 pound sterling uh, the United Kingdom and other country that wind that continue to maintain parity with a sterling and to hold their reserve in London became known as the sterling block. In 1931, in 1931, there was a problem with the United Kingdom, and so uh, United Kingdom imposed exchange control method. Uh, because the Second World War again came and uh, 
pound sterling, uh, there are devaluation of pound sterling in September 1931. Devaluation of pound sterling in 1931 was done and that was followed by all members of the sterling block or sterling area that they pegged their currency. They pegged their currency with the pound sterling and they hold their reserves in London. So this uh, was clear to the USA that the sterling block is very strong and follower of the United Kingdom. When Second World War brought exchange control and uh, prospective ex uh, exchange shortage, particularly of dollar, the country with the closest ties to London adopted a parallel policy of monetary collaboration. When the Second World War started, then most of the countries they had to buy uh, war materials, war needs things, and for that they required pound, no, they required dollar, because uh, USA was the great market of defense goods. So the loyalty to United Kingdom by most of the starting area country is gradually crumbling down, down, and some of them have, having monetary policy with uh, adopting a parallel policy. Parallel policy means they paid with the pound sterling when there was a devaluation in 1931 in uh, England. Uh, thereafter, they paid with that, that and proved that they are member of the sterling bloc. But when the Second World War uh, came, then the most of the nations of uh, area, the sterling area, adopted parallel monetary policy. What does it mean? It means that uh, my currency, my country currency will be pegged with dollar too. Because we require dollar to buy war materials. Therefore, many nations gradually uh, shifted from uh, uh, sterling block area and making paying their currency with dollar and this was the uh, this was the defeat of the UK and the supremacy of USA was established in international foreign currency and exchange market and in in India there were the huge balances which were kept in the foreign foreign leaders were kept in the Bank of England. Therefore, before discussing uh, 1948 industrial policy and 1956 industrial policy, which, which uh, we will discuss, but I thought that before starting my 1948 industrial policy, let us think upon the international economic situations related to the foreign currency, related to the other items. Uh, what were the conditions at that time? If you know that, then the 1948 Industrial Policy and 1956 Industrial Policy will be easy to understand. In the world uh, foreign exchange uh, uh, policy, there is a term, the problem of plenty in India. India was considered in the world market a very, very strong nation after independence. Because one dollar is equal to one rupee. We, 1947, we pegged with the USA dollar and the rate was one dollar is equal to one rupee. The problem of plenty in India during a sterling area, during 
uh, under a study area during 1947 to 1956. There were huge balances which India deposited in Bank of England as reserves, as reserves, exchange reserves. And there is a coincidence that after 1947, there is a coincidence that there was a scarcity of food grains. We got independence. There was a scarcity of food grains because Indian could produce only 40% of the required food grains. And we had to import 60% of food grains from USA, from Canada, from Australia. And therefore, our need is to pay our currency with dollar, not to uh, think about the uh, sterling area relationship. So, in 1947, pegging was at the rate equal equal, one dollar is equal to one rupee. And then the international market found that India had a large pound sterling stock reserve in the Bank of England and therefore Indian rupee is not international currency but it is the hardest. It is the hardest because it is backed by large reserve, pound sterling reserve in United Kingdom in Bank of England. Therefore in international market Indian position was very, very strong, led by Pandit Jawala Nehru. He coined that we have enough reserve in Bank of England. So, the coincidence of a scarcity of food grains in India in 1947 and plenty of sterling balances in India, plenty of sterling balances in India was noticed by the uh, the foreign countries and it was thought that the Indian economic condition is very very strong and the term was coined India India rupee coined a hardest of soft currency the term given for Indian currency that Indian currency rupee is termed as hardest of soft, hardest of soft currency. This is because of the large pound sterling balances held in India, the held in United uh, Kingdom, Bank of England as a reserve uh, for India. And this sterling reserve that is balance, sterling balances was a very large amount and therefore Indian currency uh, coined as hardest of soft currency. According to Britain, before discussing 1947 industrial policy, it is your duty to know what was before that just uh, at that time. That the line of distinction, 1947 left, 1947 right. So 1947 left was the position according to Britain balance of payment for 1947. There was a net drain on the sterling area gold and dollar reserves of dollar one zero two three million. Of this, Britain alone accounted for dollar six twenty six million. While between them, India and Pakistan drew only fifty five uh, million dollar. So, large stock of dollar uh, were there in the sterling area. I remember the sterling area in the foreign exchange reserves of India were there in. Uh, the account of Bank of England and in return India had access to London uh, capital and money market 
during the period of any emergency, they can take loan borrowing from there. And uh, this situation is known as problem of plenty, problem of plenty, plenty of reserves, exchange reserves. That exchange reserves converted into dollar, pound sterling converted into dollar. So the 1947, this uh, dollar 1023 million. And in that India's share was larger, therefore our currency was uh, pegged at one dollar is equal to one rupee. It was most important issue which I have raised here for you to ponder that why it was one dollar is equal to one rupee. Because India had kept large sterling balances which converted into dollar in the England, in Great Britain, and that is shown in the balance of payment of uh, Britain for 1947, that there was uh, drain, drain means taking out for uh, uh, dealing with the day-to-day -day external activities. So that reserve was there and India was considered to be hardest. India is considered, Indian rupee is considered as the hardest of soft currency. And this is stock of foreign currency, this is stock of sterling balances continued during the period of 1947 to 1956. So it is said that this uh, 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 balance, uh, uh, sterling balance system was gradually losing its ground and US dollar is uh, becoming more and more powerful. And that became powerful when uh, Second World War ended. When Second World War ended, when Second World War ended, we all know that there was a Bretton Woods Conference. We all know that. Uh, there was a there was a Bretton Woods conference and 1945 after Second World War, a sterling a sterling uh, area, a sterling block were uh, existed at that time, and uh, most of the new members which became independent joined it. But there is gradual fall in the uh, economic condition of the United Kingdom and after Second World War it was fully exhausted and there, there, there was a uh, lead of life to pound sterling when in Bretton Woods Conference it was discussed that the gold standard gold standard uh, break down and uh, how to run international economy after the breakdown of gold standard. This was discussed by John Maynard Keynes, Mr. White of USA, Roosevelt was also there, one of India in industrialists, uh, Mr. Soft was also represented there, and it was thought that there is a establishment of a new type of gold standard. What was the new type of gold standard? I saw in different uh, journals, it is quoted as Bretton Woods Gold Standard. Bretton Woods Gold Standard. If there is any question in the UPSC interview or project uh, manager interview or in BPSC, that uh, what do you mean by Bretton Woods Gold Standard? Then better to school a standard simply means 
that all member country had to deposit gold in the IMF, IPRD, and they will get loans from there. There is no need of any Bank of England acting as uh, a certain area and country that keeping reserve there. No required. You keep your reserve with yourself, your country central bank. Better goods gold standard means that there is fixed exchange rate. And this fixed exchange rate is established by uh, United States saying that dollar is convertible into gold. It is written on the dollar, dollar is convertible into gold. Gold price in the uh, world market will be determined in dollar. And the, all nations which are the member of IMF, IBRD will pay their currency with dollar. Dollar will be international currency. And then uh, the dominance of this uh, sterling area gradually crumbled down because um, there was a chosen of United Kingdom. Uh, in terms of foreign currency and that the value of pound sterling exchange stability was threatened. Then in 1949, uh, there was a devaluation of pound sterling and uh, any of the member countries which were member of the pound sterling, uh, sterling block, they never followed, they never followed they paid their currency with dollar. This is a signal that is yes, uh, the old system of uh, sterling block is now ended. And we all know that the socialist country, socialist country, a block which emerged in 1917 and to the peak and thereafter, in 1990, the socialist bloc crumbled down into 15 new nations. USSR uh, removed from the political map and 15 uh, nations, sovereign nations appeared. So this sterling bloc crumbling down before the USA is known as supremacy of United Kingdom and decrease in the supremacy of uh, United Kingdom gradually uh, after First World War and dominance of uh, United States as a great country, powerful country, financially, materially, resources, all are better, a stock of golds are larger there and therefore the the stability of pound sterling was threatened, and most of the uh, member nations of uh, sterling area, sterling block, gradually shifted towards uh, the USA dollar and paid their currency to US dollar. India's currency was also paid with a dollar, one dollar in equal rupee 1947. Britain in the Bretton Woods Conference, Great uh, United Kingdom declared that it had uh, removed the policy of empire. Now there is no empire as such under Great Britain or United Kingdom. So this uh, 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 declaration that there is no empire, it has a great impact upon the member country. But even then, in the world, dollar became dominant. Their uh, stability is dominant, and the uh, stability of pound sterling was uh, threatened. Therefore, there is a gradual shift, and most of the countries, and now almost all countries, believe in paying with dollar and maintaining the exchange reserves in their own uh, central bank. What is important to mention here that this Britain goods dollar system 
lived till 1973 when america declared that dollar is not convertible into gold dollar is convertible to dollar and therefore india declared uh, you know, usa declared that fixed exchange rate uh, policy is scrapped usa declared that all nations follow protein exchange United Kingdom, UK also floated uh, bonds and, and said that the floating exchange rate is the policy. So it showed that 1973 is the period of end of seizing out of a Stalin block. Like in communist capitalism and communism rivalry, 1990-1990 is known as a breakdown of socialist bloc and now the term is dot 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 coronavirus attacking with some conspiracy theory are going on so uh, this is the background of 1947 to 1956 conditions of uh, Indian uh, Stalin balance and a Stalin area, a Stalin block, which uh, ended in 1973 with the end of dollar convertible into gold is scrapped by the USA. Dollar is convertible into dollar. Fixed exchange rate was scrapped in 1973 and floating exchange rate was uh, implemented all over the country of the world. Thank you. Again, YouTube said me to say, like it, comment it, share it to your friends. This is Guru Dakshina for your teacher. Thank you very much.